Hey everyone, we're looking at PVY's newest e-bike, the Z20 Max, in today's video. Thanks to its dual battery system, this small folding city bike has an excellent range. When the Z20 Max is delivered, the bike is neatly packed and folded inside a comparatively compact box. There isn't much assembly required, just the handlebars and pedals need to be attached. You will save time and effort because the remainder of the bike is pre-assembled. With two battery packs, one built into the frame and one on top, the Z20 Max is surprisingly light for an e-bike, weighing only 20 27 kilograms. Its foldable form makes storage and transit simple, and it fits neatly in the trunk of a car. Also, the Z20 Max is perfect for city transportation, because it has 20-inch wheels and 2.3-inch wide road tires. Its lack of large fat tires makes it easier to maneuver through traffic than many other cargo e-bikes. The Z20 Max's front and rear suspension systems allow it to manage light off-roading, even though it was originally made for urban settings, giving it a smooth ride over bumps. The adjustable handlebar height allows you to adapt your riding position for optimal comfort, and the well-padded height-adjustable seat adds to the overall comfort. The Z20 Max is surprisingly fitted with torque sensing and hydraulic disc brakes, which provide a more natural riding experience by regulating power in response to pedaling effort. The bike's 250-watt engine, which is limited to 25 km per hour, may be unlocked to reach its maximum 750-watt capacity and reach speeds of up to 40 km per hour just by pressing the throttle. With a 7-speed Shimano shifter and the option to switch between pedal assist and throttle-only modes, you can easily navigate any terrain. Let's now discuss the range and batteries. Up to 200 kilometers may be covered by the Z20 Max on a single charge, according to the company, with a total battery capacity of 25.6 amp hours. In practice, you may realistically anticipate traveling about 80 kilometers, depending on a number of variables like rider weight, terrain, and weather but you may get closer to the stated range if you mostly use pedal assist on level 1. There are lights on the bike as well. Although the headlight is not very noticeable during the day, it is bright enough for riding at night. On the other hand, the rear light is visible during the day and functions as a brake light by brightening when the brake levers are pulled. Approaching the handlebar, it has a reasonable width and may be raised or lowered. The synthetic leather material used to make the grips feels nice to the touch. The plastic brake levers are paired with buttons on the left side of the handlebar that control the bike's power and horn. This screen is adequate for an e-bike and gives basic information, while not being the most detailed. This is also where you control the horn. Let's undertake a brief brake test from 25 km per hour to illustrate the braking performance. The hydraulic disc brakes work quite well, offering powerful quiet stopping force. Pedaling gets easier at help level 3, since the bike gives you more power the harder you push. You can accelerate without pedaling if you set the assistance level to zero for throttle-only operation. To sum up, the PVY Z20 Max is a top-notch city e-bike. It is more agile and simpler to control in traffic because it does not have the large wide tires that are typically seen on cargo e-bikes, which is something I love. The additional battery pack increases the bike's range considerably, which can be a big selling point, even though it may not be required for everyone. With features like significant power, range, and hydraulic disc brakes, the Z20 Max offers exceptional value for the money. Considering how useful and reasonably priced this bike is, it's difficult to identify any flaws. I hope you found this video entertaining, please feel free to ask any questions you may have in the comment section below, and I will try my best to respond. I appreciate you watching, have a nice day and God bless you.